Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks For You and welcome back to my kitchen. I am here to show you an amazing cake. And this cake is gonna be in the jelly roll form or the Yule log form where you roll it up. It is a matcha sponge cake, so it is green. It'll look great for Christmas or really any time of the year. And the filling that I've chosen for it is a delicious raspberry whipped cream filling with homemade whipped cream. And you can serve it just uh, plain or with, if you wanna have it more for like a Yule log at Christmas, you can put a chocolate or a vanilla a buttercream on it. That would be amazing. So stay tuned for this amazing matcha and raspberry rolled Yule log. We have our three quarters cup of all purpose flour and in here we have our one teaspoon of uh, baking powder and our quarter teaspoon of salt. We're gonna mix these together and set this aside. We'll end up sifting this into our egg and sugar mixture. Room temperature eggs are going to froth much better and give you much more height than cold eggs. And then after these go for a minute, then we're gonna add our sugar, our three tablespoons of matcha, and our one teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, this process of beating the eggs is gonna take about four to eight minutes. Now, at about the one minute mark, we're gonna start sprinkling in our sugar very slowly. We should take about one minute to get our sugar sprinkled in and um, you know blended in with our eggs. We are just gonna keep this going. I'm trying to show you um, the different stages after each minute. About at minute two, we also started adding our matcha powder. Now, I tried sifting the matcha powder in with the flour, but it was too hard to incorporate without losing a lot of the volume from your eggs with the matcha mixed in with the flour. So instead, we're mixing the matcha in with the egg, and we're making green eggs. Hey, this would be a great way to make some green eggs and ham, huh? So we're gonna keep this going until it's completely blended. We want such a full volume, like I said, five to eight minutes. Okay, ours has been going five minutes and it has quite a bit of volume to it. Time to sift in our flour. Okay, we have this beautiful green batter here that's absolutely incredible, fully fluffed, and now it's time to add in our flour mixture. Now we are going to sift this and just do it right in one of these. It's easier than having that old cranker sifter kind that you used to use. All right, it's already in. Okay, now we are going to fold and cut. Fold, cut. Fold, cut. I think we are good. A little bit more. And our matcha cake is ready to pour into our jelly roll pan. Let me make sure. Yep, just wanna make sure there's no flour in the bottom. And this is, the sides have been greased, then I put a piece of parchment, and then the parchment has been greased. Oh, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Just lightly spread. We don't want to really be messing with our bubbles much. We are gonna put this in a 350 degree oven for 12 to 17 minutes. Last time it took 17 minutes. Want it firm and for it to spring, spring back. Not too firm. We have a few parts that haven't risen, but that should be okay. Um, we're gonna leave it in and check it in three minutes. Now, you can see my fingers from before. Didn't really spring back yet. It's 
bringing a little bit. We're gonna let it cook. Well, you know, we get browning along the edges. I think we're taking it out. 15 minutes did it. Now we are going to run a knife all the way around the edges. It's coming away nicely because I greased it, so that helps. Okay, we have another piece of parchment that has been greased. And we're going to put that on it, and then we are going to flip this. While it is hot. Perfect, perfect. We are going to peel our bottom piece off. Oh, it's so pretty. Make sure to go slow. Got a little sticking on this side. My edge it went all the way up the edge. There we go. Okay, now while it's warm, we are going to roll this up. And the reason being is that it will not crack if we roll it first. You don't want to be like super tight. You just want to roll it just like that. And we're going to let this cool in the freezer, in the fridge. And I just kind of, Eric can still get out the sides, but we are going to put this in the fridge and let this cool uh, probably a good hour. Just like that. Okay, before we add anything to this heavy whipping cream, let's just get a little air into the liquid here, and then we're gonna add our raspberry powder. As far as the raspberry powder goes, you can add more than I suggest. Um, it will change a little bit of the consistency, but that's okay, it'll be fine. It'll be a little stiffer, no big deal. So you can add more if you would like. Okay, I know, I'm using food coloring. Some people don't like that, you can admit this part, but I want mine to look pretty. Therefore, I need to use some food coloring to really give it some pretty flavor. See there, see how nice that looks? Now, you can use a raspberry jello if you want to flavor and for coloring in your jello. Now time to add the powdered sugar. You can adjust the sugar to what you want, what your tastes are, and we are going to let this be until it gets to a stiff peak form. Just like that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. We have our cake and we have our delicious frosting. So this is scary stuff. This is, this is just like as if I was making it like you were making it. I don't have a crew that has three of these, five of these, whatever, in the fridge just in case this one cracks. This is what I have. It's more like the Great British Bake Off. So no matter what, we are going to go on. The show must go on. When you are baking, whether it's for Christmas, any holiday, birthday, whatever, or just because you want to bake. When something doesn't turn out, the show must go on. So let's see how we're doing in here and if we have any cracks. No matter what, we're gonna be proud because we didn't go to the grocery store and buy something. We made it ourselves. All right, we have our baby. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's a good sign. We don't have much sticking. So kind of just lift up to take a little of that pressure off. You don't just want to roll it flat, you know, kind of lift it a little bit under here, just so we're not just harshly rolling it out. Wow, guys, so far so good. Oh, oh, I got a crack, a little crack here. I'm okay with that. I'm a little thin right here. Okay, all in all, this looks great. Too bad my crack wasn't over here, you wouldn't be able to see it, but that's all right. Okay, let's get that last little bit up. And we don't even need to, 
we could just leave that right like that for now, okay? We don't even have to unroll that completely because that may crack. So we are gonna use some raspberries. Now, the thing with raspberries is if you put like all these raspberries in here, you know, raspberries are very delicate and um, they don't have a tough skin like a blueberry. So they are gonna, you know, extrude their juices all in this and make it a mess. But what I found is just to have a little treat of raspberry, what we can do is we're going to put our raspberry filling down, make sure it's all in there, but see how this is not laying flat. That's fine, don't worry about it. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squish some of these into that roll. And that's gonna be in the first roll, so it'll be in the center of your roll. And then it's like a little treat. You know, people are just thinking they're getting a flavored whipped cream and then they're like, oh, there's something in the center. And you want everybody to get one. So like, there's a little space right there. Let's put one in there. And there's a little space right there. Let's get one in there. Okay, so we have that. Okay, now we're going to put the rest on here. Now, what is the science behind how much you put too much, you know, you're looking at like no more than a half inch layer. This was the perfect amount. Remember I, or I made my um, fruit salad and used this filling and that will be a recipe for you also at the end of this video to use this filling for because you'll have lots of raspberry powder if you buy it online where I did. Okay, and that was the perfect amount for my fruit salad and my raspberry roll. Okay, now it's time to roll. So I need to get over here and I need to pick it up. And you don't have to be super tight, but you don't wanna, you don't want it to be loose either. And so and then you're peeling back while wow, that's a beautiful green color. Okay, so I see a just a little flower, piece of flower. And you can see how some of my stuff is coming out. That's okay. There is squishing. And peel. Wow, that's beautiful. Okay, we're gonna go one more. Ready? peel. Okay, I have a slight crack here, but all in all, that is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, when I roll this back up, I don't necessarily want this stuff on here. Uh, I can eat it like I just did because that's all sticky. I'm just going to scrape it off because I have a feeling it's just, gosh, it's a whole piece of cake there, huh? <laughs> oh well. Now, I'm gonna roll it back up and put it in the fridge. Wow! Now we have this beautiful fat baby. Oh, look how pretty. And that's the end, you know? Now we put this in the fridge for a good couple hours. It's gonna be so good tonight. This is dinner. This and the fruit salad that will be at the end of this video. These are dinner. Okay, it's been a couple hours. It's time to get this cake out and get it decorated and looking pretty. There's the fruit salad I made with the um, filling. So check out that video also. It looks tasty. Oh, that side did. Well, I guess you can't even see it. It kind of collapsed. You could tape this up and then, um, you know, keep it like that overnight if necessary. Okay, I'm so excited.
Okay, I'm gonna have mine just on a nice cutting board. Um, these scratch marks, you won't be able to see it, them once I'm all finished with this. So we are going to delicately take this off. Here's the seam, so I'm gonna put, okay, actually, I've got lots of um, whipped cream here at the seam bottom. So I am going to take some of that off because we don't need that. Okay, so now let's get this on here. I guess I'm gonna do it this way. And there we go. Now before we decorate, Okay, you can see I've got a line there, a little bit of this, this that's left on here. Oops, sorry. I could just take some of that off and I could just put some of this on here. Look at there. Perfect. And that was just that little bit of cake that was on my, um, my parchment paper. We're gonna cut off the ends, we do not Want the ends, they're not very pretty. Oh, but look at how pretty that looks in there. There's our gorgeous raspberry. Now we have to clean up our plate. Okay, so you see we have a beautiful roll. Um, yeah, and it could be it could be more it could be maybe a little up higher like this it probably would have been if i hadn't put so much filling in the center but i'm completely happy with that this is pretty boring as is but so there's a couple things we could do with it first and the easiest is to just use a little powdered sugar and put over it and see how that got rid of all my nicks sugar all over it. You do this right before serving. Is that not gorgeous? Put a few sprigs in here. Oh, it smells good too. Just underneath a little. Put a few raspberries right with it. Raspberries on both sides. trying to make it festive. I don't want it to look all like it took me hours to decorate. And there you have it. You can now go over it a little bit just so that looks like they have it has snow on it. Is that not beautiful? It looks gorgeous. If this masterpiece was not enough for you, there are other things we could do with this. We can hide the green with a layer of vanilla buttercream. We could turn it into a traditional Christmas Yule log and um, put chocolate frosting on it. So now we're gonna take this, I'm gonna disassemble these little fun decorations and we're gonna see what it looks like and tastes like with a little section being done in a chocolate Yule log, a little section being done with the vanilla buttercream and then regular and we're gonna see which way we like best. Here is the original. And then I quickly put a chocolate frosting on it and to make a traditional Yule log. And you just take your fork and kind of jiggle it around to make it look kind of like a log. And then you can just put a little frosting on it. Doesn't that look nice? This one can be a white log, like a birch. Or let's just pick up a little of that chocolate in there and we can kind of, ooh, that looks cool. And make it look like that. And so there's three ways for you to serve this. Okay, time for a try. I'll admit, it, I'm just eating the end. See, this is that end piece. Let's try it. I'm gonna try the middle that has the raspberry in it. Oh, it looks so good. Mm. 
That is excellent. Very good. Mm. Let's see how these others taste with the frosting. Okay. Here's the chocolate. Very good. Serving it with the frosting, uh, I can't taste the matcha, which is fine. Um, so I do like the chocolate, vanilla now. <laughs> That's good too. I think I like it better with buttercream on it. So buttercream that baby up, turn it into a traditional Yule log, and uh, you are going to make some happy, happy people. And if you don't have raspberry powder, you can buy it on the link below. That's great. So thank you so much for watching Kathy Cooks here. These were all so tasty. I hope you enjoyed them. Please uh, look at my recipe for the fruit salad that I use the same delicious filling in and it is absolutely spectacular. Please subscribe below and I'd love to hear from you with a thumbs up or a comment.